Back state this evening, longest running of its kind in the nation, a crowd in excess of 7,000 treated to a great offensive show. NorCal player of the year, Aaron Garcia of Grant, connecting with his Pacer teammate, Julian Howard, who'd caught an earlier touchdown pass. Laterals here to Dwayne Owens, who takes it across for the North score. Owens from Foothill, and it's 14-0 less than two minutes into the game. Grant's Tyrone Thigpen then racing 64 yards with his short punt by Kevin Tinney of Kennedy, and it was 21-7 early third quarter, looking like a North blowout. But Kyron Vandellup Johnson scored, and then Cordova's Robert Zachary blocked his punt. Conrad Bowles of Kennedy recovers for the touchdown. Suddenly, it's a tie game. Tinney scores on the short quarterback sneak, lifting the for the and from the south, and we had a little bit of everything in this one. North and blue quarterback Aaron Garcia starts the trick play, complete to Julian Howard, the quick flip to Dwayne Owens, and it's 14 to nothing North. What a game out there tonight. Congratulations to the Apple. Over Cal. So Cal's bubble burst. High and a better kick this time. Owens back on the goal line. To the 10. Again, some daylight, and Owens moves it outside. The 45 inside at midfield. And out of bounds at the 35 of Arizona. That guy can run. Gary Coston, the kicker, was the last man, and he's the one that pushed Owens out of bounds. Well, Dwayne Owen makes, he makes people miss. Take a look at this, right on the goal line, one yard deep. He's flying, and the wedge is good, well-timed. Now he's got Jason Blum out there trying to catch those people. Kicker makes a nice player, it's a touchdown. He is among the top kick return people in the nation. A little kick. Kick off up the center. Takes a while to get back there for Owens to collect it. Owens with another outstanding oh. return. The seven-yard line of Arizona. Pitches on the option. Huh. And Dwayne Owens battles to the 25. Third down and six for the Beavers. Strasser motioning. Owens with a lot of room has a first down. Perfect. And breaks it out to the 45. Boy, he reaches top speed so very quickly. He is a jet. Draw play to Owens. Oh, oh, Owens runs over defender. Oh, my goodness. Owens just flat ran over a wildcat and route to the first down. Hammerschmidt runs him out of bounds. Oh, oh my. Yeah, what a this, tiger he is. Hey, this is great. Why, Jimmy, he takes a couple of shots, beats some people, nails Hammerschmidt. That's their best hitter. Now watch, he, he gets knocked out of bounds. Ooh, he was out of bounds quite a way. To, looks like they marked it the correct spot, but the best part of all was after he got knocked out of bounds, he walks back, finds the kid that knocked him out, shook his hand, <laughs> and walked back to huddle. Yeah. Had some ups and downs. I still think he's due to break one. Here we go. The ball game is underway. The kickoff is taken on the goal line. Dwayne Owens to the 20, breaks the tackle, and comes out just shy of the 30-yard line. He just put his head down and ran. On and 10, the spot of the ball is at the 48-yard line of Southern California. Maurice Wilson motions to the top of your screen. From the I formation, this is Owens. Makes a nice move outside. What? <laughs> Dwayne Owens works his magic against the Trojans to reach the 40 and across and come up just shy of a first down. The tackle by Stefan Pace, the free safety and inside linebacker Gideon Morrell. Magic is right. Just a simple, it's a lead play off the left side. Watch these misses. This is amazing. These SC players haven't seen a guy that runs like this in a couple of weeks. What a talent. That's a very special talent indeed to make people miss you like he does. The ball is spotted at the 41, so it will be second down and three for the Beavers. High formation with receivers set each way and go on the quick count. Here's Owens trying to get a block on the outside corner. Fights his way on his own to the 30. You cannot arm tackle Dwayne Owens, and rarely can one man bring him down, despite his relatively small size. Mike Pollard and Marcus Hopkins bring him down at the 29-yard line. 
There's a little counter step by Owens. Counter play, and he just makes it on his own. He gets some blocks. And look at Rob Strasser trying to, or excuse me, Kevin Strasser trying to stay with his people, getting in, getting in the way. That's what you have to do when you're wide receiver. That's a tough block. It's all over. Nothing like talent, is there? No. Shorter kick this time received by Owens on the seven. Looking for some help. Now turns on those afterburners. He's to the 40, inside the midfield. Still going at the 40, he is away, he is gone, he will score. Dwayne Owens finally <laughs> breaks one and brings it back. 93 yards for the touchdown, and there are no markers on the field. Boy, he ran about 200 yards for that one. Starts clear on one side of the field, takes it, return to the other side, just kind of cruising along and all the way back. All you, we've been saying it's going to happen ever since we saw this guy, and he, he finally made it happen. And guess what, folks? He's back next year for the Beavers. <laughs> Take a look at this. He's almost over where he's going to go out of bounds. Now he's just cruising, just cruising along. Now he gets a little opening, and look at him accelerate. Whoa, he leaves people. Now this is just fun to watch. Nobody with, is going to tackle him, not one man with, not with arms. He didn't look too slow. And he knew he was going in, and they raised his arm there at about the 15-yard line. Great return by Dwayne Owens, and that'll add those all-purpose yard statistics considerably. That'll keep old Sleepy awake for the <laughs> halftime. Trojans to kick it off. Low and hard, and Dwayne Owens takes it on the fly at the seven. A lot of people out in front. <laughs> now it kicks in those afterburners. Here he goes. <laughs> Oh, he is a master at that, and the Beavers, Steve, in this football game have done a good job of getting people out in front of him. He just follows along those four people and then kicks in that afterburner, and away he goes. Boy, is he fun to watch. Oh, this will be great. We'll get to look right from behind to see it just the way Dwayne Owens does. Now, look at these other people. Look at those linemen running hard. Now he just takes off. Wow. Remarkable acceleration. The advance across the 45 to the 46, first down, Oregon State. Too bad we can't somehow just keep getting kickoffs instead yeah. of taking the ball off. He can build up that return record. There it is. Yep, and Owens will field it on the five. Got some room on the outside. Jeez. Waiting for some help and is caught up from the rear. He slowed a moment at the 40, but a dazzling return to the 45-yard line. That's a 40-yard return for Owens. Boy, he's really going to make up some ground in the stats this week and Oregon State comes out in an eye formation Wilson motions to the near sideline nice cut by Owens has some daylight and rambles across the 30 and keeps on going to the 35 Steve he has remarkable strength well, he for a man that is not of, of good size he in one stride Michael Wright Makes a stop at the 50, but not before Dwayne Owens causes some embarrassment. Look at this move. Take a look at how he skips to the outside. <laughs> he barely, he didn't touch him. Did now he? he's there, now he's not. Then he just about runs through a couple more people. Just shy of the 50. Palos is the motion man. A draw to Owens. Owens at the 20, bounces off a tackle, bounces off another. Still going at the five and to the three. A remarkable run by Dwayne Owens, who continues to excite the crowd here in Corvallis. Michael Wright with the tackle inside the five-yard line. They'll make the spot at the two. Take a look at this. It's again the sprint draw. Nice hole. Good side of Adam Alba. Fletcher Keister on the right side, and then look at the man run through it. There's three broken tackles right there. Almost a face mask on the tackle by Wright. And goal. Owens. He's got it. Dwayne Owens on a sprint to the corner. And the play. Beavers at the 30 of Washington State. This is Owens. It's a nice move outside. Breaks the tackle. Down the sideline to the five. He is astonishing. 
with his ability to move laterally. But it's a shame he didn't score. He deserved a touchdown on that run. Oh. That was beautiful. He looks like he gets hit, knocked on the ground, and somehow squirts out of those shots. Now, take a look at this. Again, this is a sprint draw that the Oregon State features with Owens. Now, look at the move. <laughs> Lurcher didn't even get close to him. Looks like O.J. Simpson on that move. Boy. Gathers makes the tackle. Owens has now gained 96 yards rushing. Take a look at him run away from people. Oh, give him his other four yards. Let's. The ball at the 13. Dwayne Owens cuts it up to the 10, cracks to the five-yard line. Oregon State's got to get Owens the ball when he's in there. He's a great talent. They found him a couple of weeks ago, really running kickoffs back. He was going to be a red shirt, but he has tremendous talent. Well conceived. They bring the wide receiver in. Nebraska's not in the right kind of defense. They've lost a defensive back, should be making a force. Owens makes the right cut. Nice blocks. Down at the four-yard line. Again, it's Owens and Jones, the backfield behind Brewer. Brewer throwing, it is caught. Owens dives, touchdown, Beavers. What do you Dwayne say? Dwayne Owens with his first score of the year. The young man who was so brilliant against UNLV in returning kicks. And the Beavers have jumped on top of Nebraska. Well, if you get a fairy tale out of a game like this, it's got to start this way. Oregon State has to get a boost. They've gotten it now with a fumble recovery. Watch Owens go for this. He gets it the hard way. A great job by Dwayne. Kick the ball to that man right there, Dwayne Owens. He could do anything. He could turn it around. He could end up in the other end zone. He gets a couple of blocks. Chad Paulson is also back for the Beavers as we look at part of this fine Nebraska band. Bennett kicks it to Owens at the five. Hurdles at the 20 and a penalty flag. Awaiting the kickoff. All right. Short kickoff and Owens collects it at the 12. There he goes. Owens has some room at the 30 to the 35, the 36 yard line where he stopped by Bruce Pickens, an all big eight conference cornerback. Owens at the two. To the 15. And Dwayne Owens, another oh, fine a return. Throw the flag. Throw the, the flag. You think this kicker's in trouble? He, he throws him out of bounds like he shouldn't. Oh, boy, did Osborne go down. Right there. Darren Shager will punt it. A walk-on in 1990. And he's earned a spotting, starting job the last two weeks. Dwayne Owens pushed back to his five-yard line, looking for room to run. Spurts through a hole at the 10, and Owens is off. The 30, the 35, the 40. Still going. A beautiful job of running for Owens. Cuts to the near side. He is gone for a fever touchdown. Ninety-five yard return for Dwayne Owens. My goodness. What a run. When you start out on this play, as we'll see it on replay, it looks like he's hemmed in by about six guys. Take a look. He catches it a little deeper than he's supposed to. He let that ball go if it's inside the 10. And look at this. Just That's great speed and strength. He runs through people. Now look at this. He's got great acceleration. I think he tires a little as he comes towards the end. That was Herschel Curry, number 20, that got a great block downfield. Really hustle. Look at J.J. Young just getting in people's way. Now watch this. A flying one and a half. 9.6. That is the longest punt return in Oregon State history. Oh, look at the man right 80. there. Safeties at UCLA. Kenny Easley, Don Rogers, James Washington. Second and a yard. To Owens has some room on the sideline. Owens still going to the 40-yard line of UCLA. That is exactly the play that Alford kept. With 148 all-purpose yards. Well, he's a guy that Beavers need to get the ball to. You see him right there. Give me the ball, he says. And that's not a, a bad argument. <laughs> he averages 123.3 yards all-purpose per game. Well, he's really come on as a blocker, too. 
Mike Summers, offensive coordinator, was mentioned to me today that Dwayne has really started to blossom. Who broadcast the Northwest College's broadcast? We're never together. We're always working for our respective teams. But today we get to join up with a good man by the name of Steve Priest. You all know him and remember him back in the late 60s. He would terrorize wide receivers in the Pac 10 when he played for the Beavers. Steve, good to have you with us today. Thanks. Great to be here. I'm looking forward to it. Let's talk about somebody who's really quite exciting and he had a big day against UCLA. Dwayne Owens on offense. Dwayne Owens is a real talent. He's got great size, he's about 215. He's among the leaders in all purpose yards, punt returns, kick returns and the Beavers put the ball in his hand when they get close to the goal line or need a big first down. He's got 4-4 four, four speed. This is an uh, all-time OSU punt return. He beats four people real quick, just runs through them. You watch the acceleration. Again, 4-4 four, four speed, over 210 pounds. He, he runs out of wind here. He's telling some people to pick up a block, and then he does about a forward two-and-a-half stop action. You see that? Gets about a nine for the dive, and oh, is he happy. But a great run. I want to know how he stopped in midair like that. That's amazing. <laughs> Owens back to receive along with Paulson. Owens again in his own end zone. And here he comes. And he got to the 20, so he's into plus five yards at the 25. Ready to go with the second half. I'm Don Poyer along with Chuck Nelson, Steve Priest. The terrific trio here bringing you some college football. <laughs> Prime Sports Northwest. Washington kicking off. And Dwayne Owens doing like he did against UCLA. Finds the seam and may have another long return. Gets past three Huskies and he's going all the way. No flags. Touchdown Oregon Owens with a 97 yard punt return for TD against UCLA last week. Wishbone backs behind Alford. Dwayne Owens, very, very powerful runner, crosses the 40. A lot of NFL scouts looking at Dwayne Owens. Well, they should be. Extraordinary physical ability. Adam Brass makes it. In the conference, he's a guy that liked to have the ball all the time. Oregon State liked to get him the ball. Very difficult in this offense, though, because Mark's, Mark Alford's going to the line of scrimmage. Here you see Dwayne goes to the line of scrimmage. He has to run the play that's appropriate for the defense. Sometimes it isn't uh, to Dwayne Owens' side, so he doesn't get the ball. He was number eight nationally in all-purpose yards in 1990. 158.6 yards per game in that big game of Southern Cal, Steve. 271 yards. There he is, Dwayne Owens. He did not play last year. Well, last but week he was sick as a dog out there. Upset stomach, uh, having real problems, and still played, played well. Yes, sir. A lot of courage. Ball is at the 17-yard line. Oh, look at this. The Arizona State has not allowed a touchdown in its last two home games. Second down and four. It's back to Owens, who looks to throw the ball. Incomplete. The intended receiver was Maurice Wilson, who needs just six more receptions to enter the top ten alternately. Oregon State is the only team to score a rushing TD against them. Fifteen seconds remaining in the half ball at the 21 of Arizona State. Owens may go. Touchdown, Beavers. Dwayne Owens. <laughs> That's a Dwayne Owens run, but don't minimize the blocking. There was some great blocking up front, and what a momentum changer. 21 yards for the touchdown. And it doesn't happen often here, at least this season at home, that Arizona State yields a touchdown. Now take a look at this. Look at the cuts right there. You have no idea how good that run is, and look at the guy go for the touchdown. He gets hit solid on the five, shouldn't be there. Well, he sure looks like an NFL back to me. He does to me, too. He doesn't look like he's sleepy, like his nickname says.